Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. In this video I will be talking about statistics. For last couple of days I was thinking to make a video about statistics and share some of the easy ideas. Statistics sound scary but in reality it is not. If you are involved in research or doing your masters or PhD then you will definitely need statistics to design your experiments, data collection or data analysis. Couple of students including my friends and department fellows they come to me to discuss their statistical problems or questions. And after discussing those problems I realize that most of them don't have even basic understanding of statistics. So when they don't have basic understanding so they take it as a very difficult and dry subject. They lose interest and they just want to pass it or just want to finish their program. So I was thinking to make a couple of videos where I explain statistics in easy language. I will make videos covering basic ideas of statistics, why we need it, what actually statistics is and why it is important in research. So let's try to understand what actually statistics is. Statistics is a field of study that deals with designing of experiments, data collection, data analysis, explanation of results and visualization of those results using data visualization techniques. Statistics is integral part of research and development. So now I will explain why each of these topics are important. First I will cover designing of experiment. Why designing of experiment is important? Why don't we can go to field or market and collect data and then analyze data and explain our results? We cannot do this because without designing of experiments we will just waste our energy, resources and money. Design of experiments start with the question that we want to answer. If we have a clear understanding about our questions, then statistics will help us to design our experiments. It will tell us whether we need a new experiment or we can piggyback and collect data from an ongoing experiment. Statistics will help us in designing experiments that are very stern and sound and they will save most of our energy and resources as well. The next step is data collection. Like I explained design of experiments, data collection is also very integral and important part of statistics. Even if we have designed our own experiments, we cannot go randomly and just take data from our experimental fields or market and analyze them. Data collection is also very important. Statistics guide us about data collection in a way that it will tell us how we will collect our data based on our questions. For example, statistics guide us what kind of sampling design for data collection we need. Whether we want to collect data randomly, arbitrarily or systematically. After data collection we move towards data analysis and most of people actually they get scared from data analysis and they typically don't understand what data analysis is. One of the most important questions I ask from my friends when they come to me and discuss their statistical analysis is why we need statistics in our study? What statistics basically provide us? Why don't we use simple mathematics or arithmetics or linear algebra to analyze our data? Why statistics? Statistics basically provide us with two main important terms. One is probability. The second is confidence level. And these two values we cannot come up with other arithmetics or simple mathematics. So that's why statistics is important. For example, I'm from agriculture and in agriculture we used fertilizers to improve crop yield. Say we have done an experiment and now obtained data and now we want to move towards data analysis and we want to see which of the fertilizer has improved crop yield. We can simply calculate their mean as well and see by using which fertilizer the crop yield has improved. But can we do this way? No. Simple arithmetic calculations can only provide us with means but not the probability and confidence level. So we cannot generalize these results and explain these results to our end users. And if we want to suggest or make some recommendations to farmers, we need some sort of probability or confidence level by which we can suggest that by adding this fertilizer, your crop production will improve. And the results we get after statistical analysis basically, they help us in decision making and guide recommendations according to our problems and questions. After data analysis, we move towards explanation of our results. In statistics basically we construct our hypothesis and analyze our data to either accept or reject the hypothesis. So statistics help us 
to explain our results as well. And these results we cannot simply explain without using statistical terms or other methodologies. At the end, it comes to data visualization that how we want to visualize our results. We cannot randomly choose any chart to present our results. And in this way, statistics guide us that what are the best visualization methods that we can use and help visualize our data after statistical analysis. So these are my few cents about statistics. So now I will keep making other videos as well where I explain all these topics in detail and with examples. So with this, I will end this video. I hope you must have get some sort of understanding with this video and still if you have any question comment below and I will answer those. Have a good day.